So we figured it out, didn't we? Now here is here's another situation in which the uh, not only the AC but some of the power in, in throughout the camper wasn't working. Completely so different. weird. Yeah, and we couldn't figure it out, and we went. I was trying to replace breakers. And we were looking for GFI. We couldn't figure it out until today. And uh, let me show you. This may this may be your problem if you're having spotty problems with your power. Okay. Let's talk about the few things that I've learned about these campers and the few years that I've been investing in them and, and messing with them. This is going to kind of be like the uh, computer thing. Have you tried unplugging it? Have you tried turning it off and then back on? The same sort of thing can apply here that I have discovered. So, uh, like I said, we had guests who were having spotty power issues, like lights going off, the TV went off, um, air conditioner finally went off, uh, unrelated to freezing up. And uh, we were here yesterday, and it happened for us. So that's kind of what we wanted to see. And as I said, I was, I was looking into replacing breakers, and that didn't turn out to be the issue. What I found, however, was this. Now, your, uh, your camper should have a, uh, a surge protector, like, like so. Okay, so your, your, your camper is going to have a, a basic power line, right? That's the thing that powers your whole camper. And you see that's plugged in here to a surge protector. And these lights are correct. These are pretty foolproof. You take this plug out, and on the face of here, there there are instructions saying that you know you should have the green and blue lights. Okay, uh, this is a 50 amp service, so you got a 50 amp surge protector, and you're plugged into. And you got to be careful doing this. I had to kill a wasp last night, um, lest I get stung. So, all right. Our 50 amp surge protector, which our power line is plugged into, and then the surge protector is plug, plugged into a 50 amp power outlet. Uh, what I discovered was this was halfway out. So that was arcing probably and causing my flickering lights and power outages and issues. Also, this is degraded. As you can see there, the ground part of this is broken. So I am going to today take the two screws here and here out, open this panel up, probably replace this breaker. And I'm gonna replace this receptacle, which looks like this, only it's 50 amp. Um, pushing this in, got it running well again. Um, but then it, but then I continued to have outages after a few hours and I came out and that's when I noticed the, the the damage to the receptacle and I pulled this out to see if it was uh, if it was charred from arcing or anything it was also not plugged in entirely I pulled it I pushed it in and out a few times just to sort of clear anything and it worked overnight we had a air conditioner overnight anyway these are things you want to check. You want to check your breakers. Uh, some of that, you know, you might find that they need to be replaced. All right, so this is where I would stress, don't, I'm gonna rewire this, but I would stress don't mess around with this stuff if, if you're not really, really familiar with dealing with bubble voltage, high voltage like this and wiring. Um, hire a pro. The price is minuscule compared to the value of your life, right? Uh, but I'm going to, uh, of course, turn this breaker off when I replace this. Hopefully I can get the one with the tabs just like this and uh, re rewire it exactly as it is. And all should be well. So, now I can start dismantling this. There's that. I've got this turned off, but I'm going to go ahead and pull breaker out so I can expose all these wires. Buddy, that is hot. That's not good. And that's not, I'm not liking that charring. I'm, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to replace this. Cool thing in my hand and know that I'm completely disconnected. So, you feel how hot that is? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'm replacing this too. So what I found was this. And uh, it has the same collar, if you look at the back of it, it's got the same collar as this. See with these tabs? Mm -hmm. okay. Only problem is these are $15 online. Mm -hmm. And the, this is $71.98 at a supply house. But you gotta do what you gotta do to make things work. Okay. See how charred that one is? Yeah. It, uh, that could fail. I don't like it. So here is the new one. Yeah. New breaker and uh, new outlet. And that really didn't take any time at all. Pretty easy process. Okay, so there you go. Uh, this is something that turns out to be a pretty common problem. You know, I talked to some people and uh, they concur that uh, these these things tend to happen with these with these campers. Uh, you know, you got a you got a big power cable plugged into a, a service. You got uh, multiple parts. You got your breaker. You got your uh, outlet. You got your your surge protector, or your cable going into your camper. It's just, there's a lot of links. And a chain is as good as you know the answer. So check everything. Um, might save yourself a lot of money or like I say, hire a pro and they'll come out and they'll probably find it right away because they see, see this stuff all the time. Uh, well, I hope this helps you all and uh, happy camping. And as always, thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe. Be well.